Running toilets can be really annoying and they can cost you money too. So it's important to fix this problem as soon as you can. Here are a few reasons why your toilet might be running and ways you can fix it. The first thing that could be the issue is the flapper or the flapper seal that's at the bottom of the tank. It's a rubber valve that lifts to release water into the bowl when you flush it. Now over time, the flapper can wear out, it can warp or it can become uh, you know, misaligned inside of the tank, which will prevent it from having a tight seal. I've also seen them deteriorate if you use certain types of uh, cleaning agents within the tank itself designed to keep the entire toilet clean. Those can eat away at that rubber gasket, especially if you're using uh, cleaners that are basically based off of bleach. They can deteriorate all the rubber inside of the tank. So that could actually be the reason why your toilet is leaking and continuously filling. Another thing that could be an issue is this float that's inside of the tank. Um, the float in the toilet basically controls the level of water within the tank and uh, stops it from filling up too much. And so if this is set too high, the water that is in the uh, tank itself can overflow into the overflow tube, which could cause it to run continuously. Another problem could be with this fill valve. So the fill valve controls uh, the water filling into the tank and into the toilet. These can get debris inside of them. It can build up with calcium and it can cause these to malfunction. Another reason I've seen these toilets run is because there's issues with the handle and there's a chain that's on these handles that's attached to the handle itself uh, on basically an arm that's inside of the tank and that chain also attached to the flapper valve. So basically when you flush the toilet, the flapper valve pulls up and it lets all this water in the tank drain into the toilet and flush the toilet. But if this chain is set improperly, say if it's too tight, it could be barely pulling up on this flapper valve and letting water leak into the toilet itself, which is causing the toilet to continuously run and fill up. Now, if those things aren't the problem, there are a couple other things that could be the issue. You can have a leaky fill tube, and that fill tube is the thing that fills up the toilet bowl after you flush. And so if this has a leak in it, if it's, if it's uh, cracked, for example, or if it's not seated properly, then water can continuously seep into the toilet bowl, which will basically make this water level go down and then have it continuously fill up. So it could be that uh, the tube, the fill tube itself is leaky. You could also have a damaged gasket underneath the flapper. So there's a uh, tank to bowl gasket that could have an issue where you need to replace the gasket because if it's not sealed properly, again, the water from this tank can leak into the bowl below and it's going to continuously want to refill. Now that's going to be a bigger job because you'd have to remove this entire tank in order to remove that seal. But a faulty seal can definitely be a cause, especially if you've gone through all the other steps and troubleshooting and making sure everything's working properly. If you still can't figure it out, then it's probably that gasket that's between the tank and the toilet. And last but not least, it is possible that you might have a crack in your toilet itself. And so if your toilet is really old or if you know it's been subjected to any kind of um, trauma, like any kind of uh, someone falling into it, or something being dropped onto it that is really heavy, it's possible that your toilet might be cracked. And if it is, that crack could be leaking water slowly over time. And so if all else fails, you could have a crack in your toilet. And if that was the case, you'll have to replace the toilet completely. If you're not quite sure what the problem is, I also recommend picking up a complete kit, a universal kit. This is basically gonna give you every part that you would need to fix your leaky toilet, everything from a new flapper uh, to a new fill valve that these tend to be more efficient than the older styles as well. Um, even a new filler tube and a gasket for the uh, toilet tank as well. So I highly recommend picking one of these up. And if you don't use up all the parts in this repair job, you'll still have extra parts on hand in case the toilet starts acting up again, or if another toilet in your house starts to have problems. You can see here really the issue with this toilet is this water is right up against the top of this fill tube. And what's happening is this water is kind of spilling over slowly over time. And when that happens, the water level in the tank gets too low and then this valve will kick on because it thinks it's too low and it will start to refill the tank. And so really this issue right here for this tank specifically is an issue with the float. The float is uh, set too high. It needs to be lower so that way it doesn't need as much water to fill up the tank in order to shut off the valve. So as you can see here, if you push this down, it's gonna fill up the tank faster. And as it goes up, it slows down. And if you pull it all the way up, it stops. So what needs to happen is either need to adjust this or bend this rod so that way the float sits lower in the toilet and ideally be about a half an inch to maybe even a whole inch below the top of this tube. 
Even though that's my issue with this toilet, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the fill valve because this is an older model and I'd like to get one that's a little bit more efficient. And also I'm gonna change out the flapper as well while I'm in here. And really, again, those are two of the most common reasons why you'd have your toilet running. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. So the first thing we need to do is turn off the water supply to the toilet. The next thing we'll need to do is flush this to get most of the water out. And just hold the flapper open to let it drain as best as you can. Any remaining water is going to come out when we remove the fill valve. So you wanna make sure you have towels underneath the toilet and uh, ideally a bucket too to catch the excess water. First, before we remove the fill valve, I'm going to remove the flapper. So what you would wanna do is you would wanna undo the chain from the flush handle. Like so, and then you would also want to unclip this below here. Usually these just clip on to the sides and this whole thing then comes out. So by far, this is the easiest thing to replace if this happens to be faulty. If you notice that this uh, flapper is deteriorated at all, if it's got cracks in it, or if it looks like there's chunks of it peeling away, then most likely this is what's leaking. And this definitely, if you do see signs of failure, this needs to be replaced. And instead of getting a complete kit, you can also pick up just a regular flapper that you can replace the old flapper with. Uh, I will say that these come in two different sizes, typically two inch, which is this one. This is the most common size, but there are also three inch flappers. So you need to be aware of what size your toilet uses uh, before you purchase a new flapper or a new uh, complete kit, honestly, because if you have a complete kit that's uh, for a two inch toilet and you need a three inch, it's not going to work. One of the tricks I like to do is to line up the chains so that way I can tell if there's any adjustments I need to make to where the, uh, the hook is located on the chain. I can do that before I put the new flap inside the toilet. It just makes it a little bit uh, more convenient to do that and takes out a little bit of the guesswork. I'll go ahead and adjust that now. Now that I have the chain adjusted, I just move this uh, hook down a few chain lengths. I'll go ahead and install the new flapper. Make sure you hold onto the chain so that way it doesn't fall into the hole. Put the flapper in place and then just hook the rubber parts on to the side here or plastic depending on what you have. All right, so that's in place and then I'll go ahead and hook up the chain back to this arm. First, we need to disconnect the supply line that's underneath the toilet. Again, just be prepared for water to come out here. Now we'll unscrew the nut that's holding all the fill valve in the tank and you might need a wrench for this. This shouldn't be too terribly tight because this should be plastic, but sometimes these are tight enough to where you can't get these started by hand. So let me see if this is loose enough. Yep, just unscrew this here. And we should be able to lift this out of place. And then we'll just remove this from the tank. There might also be a clip that's left over on top of the filler tube. You can go ahead and remove that now because the new one should have a replacement. Make sure you clean up any water that may have spilled. You don't want this sitting on the floor too long. Now that the water's out, it's also a good opportunity to clean out the tank if you need to. So you can see this one bolt here that's holding on this uh, toilet tank to the toilet itself is corroding. So I'm gonna clean this up. So word of caution, the rubber might be deteriorating down there. And if it is and you clean this out, um, it could get a stain on a towel. So don't use your good towels. My wife is gonna kill me. Now we're gonna install the new fill valve. Now, if you have an adjustable type, what you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure that this line, this fill line here, this water level line is at the top of this tube. So when we put this in place, uh, you can see it's pretty low. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that by untwisting this and raising it up. I'll just untwist this here which will unlock it, and then I'm gonna raise this up a bit, twist it back in place and see how that fits. Before we put this in place, we want this line, this fill line to be about a half an inch below the top of this tube. And it looks like once I get this in here, that it's maybe a little bit too high. I'm gonna adjust it down a little bit lower. Try that. It looks like that's about right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this in place. I just want to make sure to hand tighten this. Don't need a wrench. Then you want to take the supply line and put this back inside. And then take the supply line nut and tighten it down. And again, you only have to hand tighten this. Before you tighten it all the way, you want this valve to be sitting in here at about this angle, at least with this specific model. 
Now we'll put the fill tube on. Now we'll place this little clip on this end and we'll clip this on the fill tube. You wanna make sure this is not kinked in any way. If it is, you wanna make sure to fix that and possibly readjust the tube location so that way it's got a nice open line and it's not compressed or restricted in any way. All right, now it's time to turn the water back on. What you wanna do here is you wanna make sure that there are no leaks underneath the tank where you just did all of that work where you took out that fill valve. And you wanna check this to make sure that it fills up to the proper level and then also try flushing it to make sure everything works properly. Okay, it stopped. You can see here it's about maybe half an inch, maybe an inch below the top of this fill tube, which I think is fine. I don't hear any leaks, I don't see any leaks, so I think everything is good the way it is, but let's go ahead and flush it to test just to make sure. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit the like button and also check out this other video next. I'm sure you'll like it too. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.